Hello everyone, welcome to Red channel, myself Karthik Ponuswami. Today we are going to look at an important concept in object-oriented programming in Java which is encapsulation. So encapsulation is nothing but the process of binding the variables and methods of a uh, class into a single entity. So basically uh, this process is called encapsulation. Let's start with a basic example. right? So let's say you are going to the hospital and uh, you are not feeling well and the doctor is giving some capsule. right? So what does that capsule contains? So the capsule contains some important medicine powder inside it. Right? So there are n number of medicine powders inside it but the capsule is encapsulating everything into one single capsule or a tablet. right? So that is why we call the process of binding the variables and methods into a single entity is called encapsulation in Java. Let's get deeper into this. right? So let's say I have a class class name, I should have a class name and then my class should contain variables and methods, isn't it? So this class name is nothing but let's say example as employee and the variables inside this class is employee ID, employee name and location. So these are all the variables of a class employee and similarly we have methods, let's say get salary, get bonus. So these two methods are related to this particular class and that is why we are encapsulating the variables and methods into a single entity is called encapsulation. So in Java, every class is an example of encapsulation. So now let's get deeper into the encapsulation, right? So encapsulation is a combination of data hiding and abstraction. Let's go one by one. So what is data hiding? So hiding the data is called data hiding? Yes, you are right. So let's say you want to hide some data wherein like you don't want to expose all of your data into for everyone, right? So in that case, you have to use data hiding. So typical example, let's say you are using Facebook, right? So let's say you are making a, you know, a lock on your profile. So that like, let's say if someone is not your friend in Facebook and if they try to get access to your uh, account, they won't be able to see any of your pictures or anything like that, right? So here you are making your profile as private so that like only your friends can able to access it, right? So this is called locking the, your profile, which means like the background. So uh, they're making hiding your data, okay? So how we can achieve the data hiding? Let's go through it. So the second example is, let's say uh, you are using a, a bank accounts, right? So in the bank account, you are having your balance, right? So let's say uh, you want to uh, withdraw the money from that bank and also you want to uh, deposit the money in the bank. But at the same time, you don't want other people to access your account, right? So wherein you are applying a security for your account, right? So in this place, we are hiding your data, which is called data hiding by making your balance variable as a private, okay? So let's go in detail about it. So let's say, um, so I have a class called class bank. Here I have, let's say, float, let's say, um, balance, let's say equal to 100. Okay, so let's say you are having a bank class in that you have balance as 100. Okay, in my main class, let's say I'm creating an object for this bank. So, bank B is equal to new bank of. So, this is where I'm going to create an object for this bank class, right? So, by using this object reference, I can able to access this variables, right? So, B dot balance is equal to zero. Let's say I'm making it to zero. Now you are here, we are going to uh, change the balance of this bank account to zero, right? That is not correct. So how you can achieve the uh, security here by making this, uh, um, this particular variable as private. So you can say private, private is the keyword. So pri private is the keyword. If I, if I use private, it means this balance keyword, this this balance um, variable cannot be accessed by outside of the world. So what is the way to access this uh, variable? The way is you can have have a method, let's say void, and you can make it as public so anyone can access it. Public void get balance. Okay, so in this method you can do validation. 
you can do validation and then return the balance similarly if i want to set some value right so here you have to use b dot get balance so this returns the balance because when you use b dot get balance you have to pass your user id password and then you will call a validation method wherein you are going to authenticate and authorize only if it is allowed then it is going to return the balance otherwise it is not going to return the balance similarly if you want to set the balance b dot set balance of so here you are trying to set a balance so let's say you have another method public void let's say set balance so here also you are doing validation so here it shouldn't be void it should be float because we are returning the balance right so here we are setting the balance by doing a validation to make sure that okay well, let's say this user is authorized to set a balance or not if it is allowed then you can go ahead and set the balance now so here we are making this variable this balance variable as private so that this balance variable cannot be accessed by outside of the world just like that can you know by using the object reference only through getters and setters method they can able to access or they can able to modify the value so being said that this is achieved by data hiding so here i said encapsulation is a concept of a uh, combination of both data hiding and abstraction so here if you see data hiding is achieved but where is abstraction so abstraction is achieved here because the end user doesn't know how we have implemented this method because end user knows just to access the method right but within that whatever the validation we used or whatever the language we used whatever the technology we used the end user doesn't know about it right so this is where we are implementing abstraction meaning that you are giving only the uh, external interface but not the actual implementation to the end user so this is how we are achieving abstraction at the same time we are hiding our data so this combination of data hiding and abstraction is called encapsulation so what is the advantage of encapsulation right so the very the very basic advantage is data security and then if you want to you know uh, enhance your code you can able to enhance it because it is not going to impact the external users so this is the main advantage and what is the disadvantage of using encapsulation in java right so let's say i have four or five variables defined in my class and if i want to make everything as private and then for accessing all the you know private variables if i want to write getters and setters methods so what it happens is every time when i'm trying to access this variable so it is going to take you know execution code long time and also code also looks like very bigger so these are the you know um uh, disadvantages of using encapsulation in java but uh, it is always advisable to make your variables as private so that only the authorized user or only the known person can able to access the variables but if you think like okay this is not like you know you don't need to secure that particular variable then you can make like public or you, you don't need to do any encapsulation here so this is how you can able to achieve uh, encapsulation in java let's get into coding part to explain about encapsulation okay so i have a class called bank so this bank class has a variable called uh, a balance which is a type float and i am assigning it as 500 here and then i am making two more methods in this class which is like get balance and set balance so that like i will make this you know variable as uh, private so that i am making it as more secure and in my main class i am creating an object of this particular bank class and then using b dot get balance i am going to access this balance right so instead of directly having saying that you know b dot balance see i am not able to set the value of this balance here because this balance is not a public one where i can able to access it since i make it as private i am not able to access this variable outside of this particular class that is why i am not able to set the value of a uh, balance directly so that is why here we are implementing the security for this particular variable with the help of this keyword private so let me go and execute this code okay i can see that okay output is 500 right because i am calling this variable by using get balance method so if i want to set the value of this particular uh, variable then i have to call set balance method so here we can do a validation before we return the value of the balance and similarly we can do a validation before we allow the user to set the balance this is how um, encapsulation is achieved 
and if you guys like this video please uh, hit the like button and if you guys have any questions on this particular concept please uh, post your comments in the comment section and also please subscribe the channel and hit the notification button to get more video updates please share it with your friends